In this video, we're going to go through how to calculate the energies of the different shells within a one electron atom. So to do this, we will use the Rydberg equation, which states that the energy of a shell is equal to the Rydberg constant, which is negative 2.178 times 10 to the negative 18 joules times z squared, where z is the atomic number of the atom, divided by n squared where n is the shell of the orbital, slash the principal quantum number. For this exercise, we will use the lithium-2 plus cation, which has a z equal to 3. So, for the first energy level, where n equals 1, if we plug in our values, what we get is that the energy of that shell is equal to minus 2.178 times 10 to the negative 18 times 3 squared over 1 squared joules which, after calculation, is equal to negative 1.960 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. If we work our way through the n equals 2 energy level, where we replace the n value, instead of it being 1, we make it 2. What we get is that the energy is negative 4.901 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. For n equals 3, we get negative 2.178 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. And for n equals 4, we get a value of negative 1.225 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. Using this information, we can now generate an atomic orbital energy diagram. And so what I am doing with this diagram, as a bit of a shorthand notation, is that on the left-hand side, I'm indicating on that axis that as energy increases, it is actually times 10 to the negative 18 joules as the units. So that makes it a lot easier for me to write out this atomic orbital energy diagram. And so all the way at the bottom, we will have the n equals 1 shell, which has a value of negative 19.6 in this case. Next, we will have the n equals 2 shell, which has a value of negative 4.901. And so as we can see, as we plug in the n equals 3 and the n equals 4 shells, those shells start to get closer and closer together, and the energy difference between those gaps actually becomes smaller and smaller. And so what we've done in this video is we calculated what the energy levels are of the different shells within a lithium 2 plus ion using the Rydberg equation. And then from that, we were able to generate an atomic orbital energy diagram for that ion. 